Here's just another example of why triticale over rye. I, you know, I continue to answer this question year in and year out. But when we look at these plots of rye versus triticale, it's going to be pretty, pretty easy to uh, to make the decision here. You look at this rye; it's uh, it's right around the flowering stages, and it'll look at about 50 percent of the uh, of the plant. Uh, the value is down here in the bottom, where above uh, above the probably the third leaf you start getting a lot of stem and a lot of head that's that's a lot of fiber that's going to be in uh, in this when you harvest it and it's not going to be very uh, high quality uh, feed stuff then you look at triticale very dense now this one's got about another four or five days to get the same maturity as that one but this one's going to hold its leaves a lot better as we move forward in breeding triticale i'm really selecting heavily on green leaf duration and and, uh, and, and how long those particular lines can hold their leaves. <clears throat> There's gonna give you a little bit more of a flexibility with the harvest windows on triticale as well. If you kind of catch a rain event in about four days, you can get back out in the field and you haven't lost a lot of, uh, of your overall feed value. When something like, like rye is gonna lose its feed value, probably by the every few hours in a warm, in a warm environment, if you catch a rain event, versus triticale and triticale will hold on to its quality for a lot longer periods of time.